What a day to be out in a helicopter. We've taken you inside Ontario's nuclear power plants, and now we want to give you a different perspective to show you how impressive all this is and what nuclear power looks like from above. Ontario is really Canada's nuclear province. It's interesting, I mean, this province has made a huge move to nuclear power, unlike any other part of Canada. So nuclear is really the vast majority of the power that we all consume here. And a lot of people might not even realize that. I don't think people necessarily know how much we rely on nuclear power in Ontario. We're coming up on Pickering now. I know it from these dome shapes over the reactors ahead of us. So that's the Pickering nuclear plant right here on the lake. There it is. Pickering's actually the oldest plant in Ontario. I think it was built back in the 1970s. What's always so crazy to me about these plants is that they're so close to the water. I mean, they need that water source because it provides a coolant in the plant. But obviously a lot of environmentalists and people have concerns Right over there, you can see all these houses where people live. Pickering really is sort of like right in the community. Almost all of Canada's nuclear reactors are in Ontario, close to fresh water, cities, and homes. But not everyone is a fan of nuclear. Today, environmentalists are sort of split 50-50 on whether they're pro or anti-nuclear energy because a lot of people realize, you know, climate change and global warming are huge problems and nuclear doesn't really produce emissions. Although it produces nuclear waste, it's not, greenhouse gases are not really a problem with nuclear. So some people say we're gonna need nuclear power until we figure out how to use renewable energies a little bit better. So here is Darlington, literally right on the other side of this highway. This is a huge plant and it's providing like 20% of the power for Ontario just from this one place. That's so crazy. Look at these power lines, like going right down into the plant. This is a view that obviously most people will never get to see. But you know, from this vantage point on the lake, you can really see how big it is. It's absolutely massive. You know, one of the guys we met when we visited the plant, he said he calls it the big kahuna. And from over here, you can kind of see why. And actually, if you look just over there on the right, there's this little family farm, this family called the Kragos, and they've been there since before the plant was built decades ago, and they just never sold their land. And so now, they are neighbors to a nuclear plant. High-level waste is also stored on site, and as we showed you before, the technology does have risks. You know, if there were a, any kind of emergency here, they can actually shut this plant down in a matter of seconds, which is pretty amazing, and there are so many backups built in to protect against something going wrong. Wow, this is so crazy. Look at this place, it's huge. How we get our power directly affects the environment and climate change. Ontario stopped using coal three years ago to try and combat air pollution, focusing instead on hydro and nuclear energy with some investment in wind and solar. Still, our demands for power are not slowing down. It's pretty crazy when you're flying over the city and you realize how much power we're all using. I mean, if it were nighttime, this whole place would be lit up with lights. You know, and we all want to move towards a future of renewable, clean energy, like wind power and solar panels, and those are great ambitions. And we should be doing that, but for today, the technology really isn't there. So we need power. Our society today does not work without it. And so we need to make tough choices about where that power comes from. And today in Ontario, most of it comes from nuclear. That's the decision we've made. Nuclear offers an emissions-free, uninterrupted source of energy. But there are trade-offs too, like the waste it leaves behind. So we have to decide if the pros outweigh the cons because all forms of power will come at a cost.